<laughs> so it's been a minute since we talked about our tow rig. 2011 6.7 Power Stroke F250. Last video you guys seen, we left you off with, we was about to put a Maryland Performance Diesel budget turbo kit with a 66 millimeter turbo, uh, 10 millimeter CP4 stroker pump, and a piping kit, you know, the whole nine. And we did it. So let's talk about it. So just to start this video off, Maryland Performance Diesel doesn't sponsor us. I hope one day they do. Uh, none of this review is biased at all. This is the truth. And first off and foremost, I love it. Like, it was well worth it. It was expensive. It took some time to do it. But it fixed all the troubles we was having, and the truck runs like a scalded dog now. For a six, 7,000-pound truck, it'll run with, like, a coyote car. And that's what I wanted, and it does it. So I'm pretty pleased with it. We are going to do more to it. We are going to put a compound on it. I'm going to lower it. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to do a lot of stuff. So, Marilyn, if you want on the wrap, let me know. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So first off, I want to show you what it looks like. And then we'll talk about what it does. Oh, shit. Ah, I'm getting the frame here. Ah. Well, <laughs> so you, you got your Malbec pipe in here, huh? It's nice and shiny. It's dark, but it's red in the day. Lava. You're probably thinking, well, he's got some shiny pops here. Where's the turbo? Well, it's way back there, underneath the intake. Thanks, Ford. These motors, if you got a 6.7, surely God you know, or if you're watching this video to get one of these kits, you probably know. Again, the turbo sits between the valley pan. These engines exhaust up here, intake on the other side. Wow, it's reversed. Cool, you know? Uh, it kind of makes everything a pain in the ass. You'll see in the clips I'm throwing in here. But this is phenomenal, how much room you have now compared to the stock stuff. You got the big EGR, fuck you, EPA, all that stuff in the way. She's gone now. Oh well, I'll probably get a $10,000 fine after this, but she's off-road. Ain't been tagged in two years. I'll probably get pulled over for that too. But anyhow, um, you know, to get to the turbo now, you just pop ram horn here right off and it's there before it was a pain in the ass the biggest trouble i had taking this truck apart was the factory up and down pipes the down pipe was much worse than the ups um, you come from under the truck to the down pipe and that's about the only way you can do it i actually had to cut some of the v-bands they were stuck the truck had a hundred and seventy thousand miles on it when we started this we're at 190 now and I rip the dog shit out of this thing constantly, and it's gotta be making 700 and something, so she's holding up. Don't be scared, have fun with it. We're gonna put a compound on it with stock motor and trans too, cause we like to send it. You see me in all these awkward positions trying to show you this video. Well, it's very awkward to work on. I was on my knees up here, pretty much 80% of the build. You'll just have to get used to that. Some guys pull the cabs off of this truck. I have a four post lift silver two. I wasn't about to touch it, so I did it like this. Again, it took me about a week working in the evenings. Um, I like to think I'm pretty mechanically inclined to work on race cars and hot rods all the time. So, you know, they, they last. This is lasting. I've done something right in my life for once. <laughs> the CP4 was pretty easy once you get, you know, your radiator shroud and clutch fan, all that stuff off. The timing cover for the CP4, pull you your little gear. And you then you pull your fuel lines off and the bolts out of the back of the CP4 and you'll just pull it out the back of the block. Going back, make sure it's timed. It's got two timing marks on the top gear pointing straight down, one on the bottom gear pointing straight up. Just get that timed, you'll be good to go. Going back with everything, it's pretty easy. The turbo kit, it's all new once you get that old crusty stuff off. It's a blast. It's easy. That pretty much covers the manual labor. And now if you go taking this to somebody, you're probably gonna get charged a lot, but do it yourself. You got it, bub. Pep talk. So if you're wondering what the old girl sounds like now, let's give her a rev, bub. It sounds weird. It sounds so much different. We'll explain why. 
Held start rev. <laughs> Okay, that's the first time I kind of ever heard it. No, no one's ever drove it for me. Uh, on video, it sounded like a tractor with a good ass sounding turbo. I like that. Hmm. I don't know. If you're wondering why there's a big scrape down here, I hit the mailbox the other day and tore her up, bub. So that's where the wrap comes in. We need a big Maryland logo next to a Nightmare logo. Yes. I like the way it sounds. It kind of smells like charcoal. Hank Hill would not approve. Oh, God damn it, boy. Whoa. I hear a hot rod. Oh, hail, son. Third gen rag top. What's wants the gap? <laughs> hey. Would you go on a ride-along video with me real quick uh, so I can show these fine folk how my truck does? Yeah, what do you want me to do? Hold the camera. Come on, book. See bye. Let's go. We'll roll some clips of showing us working on it. I don't want to make this too long because we're going to make a lot more videos of this truck. Uh, I got stock wheels on it right now because I bought some pretty cool wheels. We'll reveal that probably at the end of this video. Um, we're going to do a lot of the old truck. I do want a newer one eventually, but I'm a working man. Until you all start sharing this shit a little bit more, we're going to work with the old $18,000 6.7 I bought two years ago. So, I'm pleased with it. Blessed to have a good truck. Um, even with all the extra power, it's a tough one if it breaks here in a second. It's earned it. I mean, I run the dog shit out of this truck. So, if you want a little more zip, or replacing stock parts, whatever, hit up Maryland. You know, it was worth it, even to fix my issues I was having. I was having some smokage at idle, and it was turbo. Boom. New turbo. And uh, fixed it. Got more power, so win-win. Traction control on. Vance track all. Oh. There you go. Just uh, point you. So, I've got a bad U joint up front. If I break it, it's your fault. Just kidding. I'm probably going to break it. Though. Made a good clicking noise earlier. <laughs> right, that's not Maryland's fault at all. That is my fault. I have stuck this thing in every inch of mud. I've jumped it. I've raced everybody. She's had a time. If she goes now, she deserves it. I'm not gonna go from dead stop. I'm not that not that brave. On this tune, anyways. proper U joint. You can totally do that. That and just seen better days. Yesterday I done a pull in it, fucking around with Tyler, and it said clank, 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 and it took off, but it took off like a bat out of hell. I seen shit fly everywhere. Did you see it bounce across the road? <laughs> ah, 
we'll do is a small tool drive pull until it breaks something and goes into the wall up here. It's all right. We need fenders anyways. It's a worth the money to do shit like that. That's, she blew them off there, Bob. But I mean, we'll take that, we'll take that in uh, consideration because it's done about a hundred full drive pulls. I've raced it at tracks on prep, no prep, all kinds of stuff. I wish I could have got one for them, but that sucks. <laughs> it's so funny that it broke. <laughs> It's been needing replaced anyways, you know. Another thing, about the 66, it's a little laggy. It's not bad at all, but I break this stuff. That's why I break shit. on stock tires but I've got 2414s I usually run on it with 35s and it does the same shit. Uh, you know, it runs good for, for a 66 millimeter and that's it. As well the stroker pump, no other fuel, stock injectors. Alright so we won't brake boost it here, we'll just let it roll in, let you see the lag. next to you and you're like 10 15 mile an air she's gonna eat you know you break boost this thing full drive it's gonna eat it does very well with no spinach just go towing you know I was reading some people was talking about like a 70 and the 66 kind of as well stock turbo stuff and uh, this thing eats some uh, hills anything you want to put it on I can pull a box trailer with a car four wheeler tools jacks 09 nitrous bottles everywhere 100 mile an hour up the steep ass grade but we live in the mountains so I know what grades is what so it does great hell I've I've had the thing blow the intercooler piping off on it was stock and still drive it across Pine Mountain. So, I mean, don't be scared of oversizing the turbo. It just makes more power. But I'm happy with the 66. I plan to put like a S480 or something on a compound setup and put more power to it. So, the pipe color is Malbec. It's powder coated. I got them to do it, and I recommend that. It's a, I think it's like a $400 upcharge. It's well worth it. It comes in. You ain't gotta wait no more. And just pop her on there. They, uh, they done a great job on everything. The welds, the parts that came with it. You know, you got hardware with it, gaskets with it. You can't beat it. There's nothing I didn't have to buy other than one V band, and I might have just misplaced that. That could have been me. I had a mess going on. I had several projects, but. Um, again, I highly recommend it on these trucks, especially the 11 to 14s. Everybody complains that the turbo will kill it. And, you know, my truck was knocking on 170,000, 75, whatever it was, miles, and it was still going, but it was starting to smoke. It was time to, it was time to do it. 
and uh, I believe by purchasing this kit, again, it's it's not really that pricey I mean, for what you're getting. All the work goes into it. I, I work on stuff I understand. I that got squished. <laughs> but anyways, for the money, it's worth it. Um, truck does great, tows great, runs great. It's got enough power to break an axle or whatever that was. We'll figure it out. Hit up Maryland Performance Diesel. Yes. <laughs> well, I believe we got lucky on the U-joint, but I think it broke an axle. I don't know what that piece of metal was, but oh well. Uh, I guess next video we'll get an axle on this thing. Put a draggy on it and compare our old times to the new times. See you next time. I hate stock vehicles. I love shit I put together because you touch it up on the whole Everything's half ass put together, so it half ass comes yeah. apart. You know what boats you left out? <laughs> That's not true. Oh yeah, we did quality work here. <laughs> Great success. Yeah. Only I am half ass motor sports. <laughs> yeah, we did top notch builds. Uh, yeah, the other day I built uh, a little Kevin. What's his name? Yeah, people are going to see this shit. They just build their back. I know. Yeah, they go back. No, really, I take my nice work on people's stuff. I promise. But my own shit. Fuck it. He's a little back truck. Yeah. Well, I mean, the guy on Purple Mustang's pretty happy.